The ongoing conflict in Sudan has since left hundreds dead and thousands homeless. Sudan borders South Sudan, which is one of the East African community partner states. The armed conflict between the rival factions of Sudanese military government started when clashes broke out in western Sudan, in Khartoum, and in the Darfur region. This war has affected other countries in the region, and the East African Committee Secretary General Dr. Peter Mathuki says the bloc has not paid a blind eye to the crisis in Sudan. Leaders are already making efforts to, inter to, inter to intervene. We have already reached out through uh, others to make sure that situation normalized. And uh, you are going to see this being discussed in different levels at the African Union, but also at East African level, at the IGAD level, and all efforts towards restoration of normalcy. Dr. Mathuki says that a recent meeting in Burundi, the East African heads of state agreed to work with other regional economic blocs to find a lasting solution to the problem in Sudan. Already we are working closely with uh, our sister REC, IGAD, to see what interventions need to be done. Already this is something that, that has been addressed in our recent meeting in Bujumbura that came out as a key strategic issue. On the insecurity in Democratic Republic of Congo, Dr. Mastuki says partner states are consulting each other to appoint another ESC regional forces commander to replace General Jeff Nyaga, who resigned after citing threats to his life. So the deputy is still in, uh, in office. The countries are still consulting on the replacement of the force commander who left and has already been identified. I've already communicated to all the partner states of the same information. And so when the ministers that are responsible for defense meet, then they formalize. And then we have a full force um, operating. Close to 4,000 troops are in Eastern DRC from the troops contributing countries of East Africa. The East African community is also planning to deploy a security technical team to the DRC. To go and do a verification of what has been achieved in line with the decisions that were made by the heads of states. Once that report comes out, we'll be able to make it public for them to say, yes, this is what, is, what has been uh, achieved. Uganda, South Sudan, Kenya and Burundi deploy their forces to deal with the M23 and other militant groups there. Meanwhile, Sadaka... The Southern African Development Committee also plans to deploy its forces. In fact, we will be scared to say people are running away from Eastern DRC. But the fact that people are coming in, it shows there is a commitment to resolve issues uh, in Eastern DRC. The Southern African Development Committee, SADC, comprises of 16 member states. Jingo Francis, NTV.